Bald Eagle School District took some time to say thanks to several vets in an annual ceremony. And Tristan Kleinfelter reports on how the district goes above and beyond to recognize those who've served. In a packed gymnasium, the bands played and many cheered and applauded the several veterans in the crowd as part of their annual ceremony. This year's guest speaker, Bald Eagle alumni and U.S. Army veteran Bill Weiser. And talk to them about service. Uh, I, I think it, today it doesn't seem like the military is uh, you know, one of those first options that kids think of. And uh, I wanted to show that, hey, you can join the military and uh, have, have a great career. A good career, but also a way to explore new opportunities. Don't be afraid to serve. Don't be afraid to jump out there and raise your hand. Uh, there's plenty of opportunity in the military. School officials say this event is a teachable moment. Give the kids some lessons, uh, you know, about life, about military, about education, the value of military and value of serving your country. Every veteran in the room is recognized. Just giving them the opportunity to recognize, be recognized for their service to our country and leadership and, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's awesome. They'll hear little kids singing and the pride that the kids take and the teachers take in preparing for the event. Uh, just a small token of appreciation on our part as a district um, to be able to put the show on like that. Many elementary students got to share a few words during the ceremony. Every veteran should be respected. They put their life at risk and some even died for us. They risked their lives for us to be able to choose what we like, play sports like basketball, football, and baseball. Thank you to the people who stepped up. Thank you to the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, and Space Force, and Coast Guard. Weiser says this is not something you see done in every school. So that just goes to show you, you get, get, away, get away from the Beltway and get out into the, uh, to the rural citizenry, as I would say. Uh, there's proud Americans out here, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm really touched by it. In Center County, Tristan Kleinfelter, WTAJ News.